Hi, my name is Brian Person. I'm a high school and middle school band director. Today we're going to talk about how to choose a trombone mouthpiece. Several different parts of a trombone mouthpiece that you need to be aware of. You have the rim, you have the shank, you have the throat, and you have the cup. By knowing those, you're going to be able to successfully find a good mouthpiece for you. Now, mouthpieces are all individual, so it's important that you try the mouthpiece and not just order it offline. Step one is to take your trombone into a music store, and you want to look for the right shank size. Now, there are different shank lengths and then also widths. Of course, it's important to find the right shank width, because as you'll notice, this one doesn't fit into my trombone. Now you can experiment with different lengths uh, for the sound that you want to get. Step two is you want to look at cup depth. Now with cup depth, generally younger players, when they're starting out, will want to use a more shallow cup. If you're an older, experienced player, you want to use a more deeper cup, and you're going to find that you're going to get a more successful sound that way. Your sound's going to be really broadened. Step three, you also want to look for is the throat size. The throat is either larger or smaller. And with that, you want to look for sound. So what I recommend that you do is you take a buddy of yours, preferably one that plays trombone, take them to the music store, because right now you're listening to your sound back here. So it'd be great to have a friend stand in front of you and play the same thing on different mouthpieces. <laughs> Ask your friend how that sounded, then pull up another mouthpiece. Go through as many mouthpieces as you want to find the right throat size and have your friend be the judge of that. Step four is finding the right rim. Some people like the rim to feel soft on their, their lips, so they like a, a larger rim size. Other people like a smaller rim, more cutting, so that when you bring that mouthpiece up to your mouth, you can feel it on your lips and feel that it's in the right spot. Now, when we're talking mouthpieces and brass instruments, we're always concerned about the small intricacies of that, of that plane and that mouthpiece. You know, where, how does it feel like? Where does it feel? So it's important to, to find one that's going to work for you. So try them all and make sure that you've got that friend with you seeing which one's going to sound the best. My name is Brian Person, and thank you for watching how to choose a trombone mouthpiece.